Mrs. Ruth Hartley Mosley was born here in Georgia, down in Savannah, as a matter of fact, the daughter of a boot maker. She received a good education down in the schools in Savannah and later moved north where she began her clinical studies in nursing. Ruth Hartley Mosley achieved a degree of personal and financial independence that few women and even fewer black women of her generation enjoyed. Focusing on a career in nursing, as a young woman, she set out from humble but proud beginnings in Savannah to train in North Carolina and later Chicago. After that, she came back to Georgia. She was successful in obtaining employment at the Central State Hospital in Milledgeville. She became head of a department and it was a first for a black woman. Ruth created a comfortable life for herself as head nurse before marrying Richard Hartley of Macon in 1917. Richard shared Ruth's entrepreneurial spirit and the couple set out to make their fortune. They invested in a funeral business and she became one of the first black women to be successful in the mortician uh, role at that funeral home. As years of hard work and wise investments began to pay off, Richard died suddenly. Ruth weathered the shock with instinctive self-reliance and successfully maintained the funeral business and other investments. By the time she married again in 1937, she was a wealthy woman. Financially secure, she returned to the career she loved and worked as a nurse with the health department and later with Bibb County Schools. But in the years to follow, another passion took root, and Ruth emerged as an important leader in Macon's black community. People here will remember her most for her activities with the Civil Rights Movement, planning the activities, participating in the activities, and being outspoken, because I understand she had done a lot of study in speech in order that she could make profound statements and be heard. So it was those kind of activities that brought her to the forefront here in the community. A strong and effective advocate for her community, Ruth participated in sit-ins, helped register black voters, and served as a leader in Macon's NAACP. She gave generously of her time and resources to various social, civic, and religious organizations, her generosity increasing over the years. By the time of her death in 1975, her estate included two large trust funds, one to establish a woman's center in her Macon home, and another to provide education loans for aspiring nurses. Both are legacies reflecting the passions and commitment to helping others that characterized Ruth Hartley Mosley's life.